Hey YouTube, what is going on? And welcome back to tutorial number 38. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to start styling the rest of your web page. Because in the last tutorial, we left off having like our web page centered, but we didn't make anything inside of here look any better or any prettier. So right now, it just looks pretty stupid still. And uh, all we did was we centered our page so that our div is always in the center. So let's go ahead and start working on the rest of the styling. And I like to style my websites from the top down to the bottom. So I'm going to start with my header. And we can just go ahead and copy that. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to add in a comment just to say that my header CSS starts here. And I just like to have comments in my CSS so that I know exactly where the styling for one part of my website starts and where it ends, just so it's easy to find everything. And uh, we go ahead and before I actually style my page header, there is something I want to do. And uh, that is this red border around my web page. I really don't want that there. I don't need it there. Um, it doesn't serve any purpose. It was just there to show you guys that um, the div was indeed centered. So I just want to go ahead and delete that red border. And now we can start styling our page header. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to go ahead and set a border of two pixels solid blue. Ta -da, done and uh, margin top of 10 pixels and that's just going to uh, just give a little bit of space at the top of the browser so that I, uh, everything doesn't look like all scrunched up like as you can see now the header of our website is just like scrunched right up into the top of the browser but when I click refresh you can see we've got that little bit of space so it just looks a little bit more you know tidy and now what I want to do is I want to get this header of our title or the header of our website and I want to get this sitting next to our image so there's a couple things that I need to change for that and I actually have to go into my HTML over here and for my image I just need to set a width and I just need to set that equal to whoops set that equal to 232 and then uh, height which can be set to 100 and then I just want to make a class over here and I'm going to call this class logo logo finally <laughs> and uh, heading one I'm also just going to go ahead and set a class here and I'm going to call this class head underscore text cool and now we can save that and go back to our CSS over here and just give myself some space to work cool now we can go ahead and select that class so class of logo and I want this to be displayed in line because right now that image gets displayed as a block and that's why the header appears underneath it and then the next thing I want to do is also just want to select that head text and I'm going to set that to display inline as well because our header is also a block element so if I set them both to display inline and we save this and go back to our browser and click refresh you can see they are next to each other but our header is kind of at the bottom here and it looks kind of stupid and I want it in the middle so what I can do now is just go to my logo and because this is an image I just go ahead and I set vertical align if I can spell it right vertical align to middle and now that lines up to the middle of the text so in other words the image is now in the middle of the text and our text will now move up so go ahead and look at that that is super cool so now <laughs> we can go back to CSS and just carry on going starting with styling here 
So that was pretty much the end of header styling. And as you can see, the comments can go over multiple lines. And what I want to do is I actually want that on a new line. And then I want to say start navigation styling. And over here, we can start styling the nav. So uh, our top nav's ID was top underscore nav. And uh, what we can do now is just go ahead and give this a border of two pixels, solid red. And we can go ahead and set the margin equal to five pixels and zero pixels and obviously um, this does pretty much the same thing as what that top one did it puts five pixels on the top and the bottom and then zero pixels on the left and the right so there's going to be no white space on the side of our navigation or no extra white space um, other than this the white space that made it get centered so what's that, what that's done is just given us that little bit of space on the top and the bottom of our navigation. But we still want to go ahead and get rid of these bullet points. And we want these links to obviously be all in one line. So we want home, about, and then contact next to each other. We don't want them underneath each other because no navigation looks like that on any website. So we can go back over here and um, just go ahead and copy that and uh, instead of using top nav obviously we have to go ahead and top nav ul and that just selects the unordered list which is uh, this unordered list over there and we're just gonna go ahead and set that list style type equal to uh, none and that takes away the bullet points and then we want to do uh, pretty much the same thing as this actually so just go ahead and copy that and then paste it over there now I want to select the list items and the reason why they display all underneath each other these list items that's li um, is just because they're all block level elements so we just do the same thing that we did at the top display inline and instead of being a block level element they're now inline and they'll all appear next to each other and the last thing I want to do is I just want to style the link inside of everything so that would be this link over here and obviously the link there and there I just wanna just so that they're not all right next to each other just give them a margin of uh, 10 pixels and we can go ahead and click save and when we go over here and click refresh you can see we now have all of these list items displayed next to each other the bullet points are gone finally and um, uh, I guess the margin didn't appear so well so we've got the margin on the left and the right and technically it is actually on the top and the bottom but you can't really see it right now so uh, a better thing to do would just go to our top nav and we'll set in a padding of 10 pixels and that'll just create that space around our elements over there so boom. okay cool so now we have a nice bit of white space around there and uh, to be honest <laughs> I lied I actually wanted padding over here and not a margin and I will show you why in a second padding 10 pixels cool go ahead and click refresh so the reason why I wanted padding instead of margin is because now as soon as I get over that little line over there I can now click on the link so I don't have to be exactly on top of the text I can be just a little bit off and that's pretty much uh, a nice trick for your navigation if you ever want uh, to have your users be able to click the navigation sometimes they don't really need to click exactly on the text just that little bit away and then they can go ahead and just click on the text so 
that's pretty much all I actually have time for in this tutorial. But in the next tutorial, we'll definitely start styling our articles over here and actually getting this side news onto the side. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this video helpful, then please go ahead and click like because it's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.